Hi, our next topic is Strassen's matrix multiplication. This topic belongs to divide and conquer. So Strassen's matrix multiplication follows divide and conquer strategy. First, we will see how matrix multiplication is done normally. Second thing, we'll see how divide and conquer strategy can be applied for solving matrix multiplication problem. Then third thing, we'll see what Strassen has done for improving matrix multiplication using divide and conquer strategy. Let us start with matrix multiplication. So I'll take some matrices, then we'll see how multiplication is done. I have taken two matrices here, A with some elements. So the order of this matrix is 2 by 2, 2 cross 2, and this is also 2 cross 2. When we multiply two matrices, they can be multiplied if the number of columns of the first matrix are equal to number of rows of second matrix. And the resultant matrix will have this dimension. So the resultant matrix will also be 2 cross 2. Now this is 2 cross 2, 2 cross 2 matrices. Now we have to multiply and get the third matrix that is C. How we multiply? This is a simple problem any term of that C matrix that is C of i comma j is obtained by sum of A of i k into B of k j where k takes the values from 1 to this dimension. If you call this as m to n m cross n then this is 1 to n. This is the general form for multiplying two matrices of any dimensions. But here we are just taking an example of two cross two matrix. When we want to multiply these two matrices and get the result and matrix that is C matrix, if I use the general formula and write down the algorithm or a piece of code for multiplying two matrices, let us see how the code looks like. For preparing C matrix, I will take loops for I assign zero I is less than n i plus plus for j assign 0 j is less than n j plus plus then third matrix c of i comma j is initialized to 0 then for loop k assign values from 0 and k is less than n k plus plus and c of i comma j is plus assign with a of i comma k into b of k comma j close this loop and this loop and this loop if I write a simple algorithm for multiplying two matrices then it will be written like this using three for loops for accessing all the elements of any matrix we actually require two for loops then here for finding the product each element c11 we obtain it by multiplying all the elements of a row with all the elements of a column. So for that we need require one more loop. So that's how it is taking three for loops. What will be the time complexity if three for loops are there? Now this statement is inside three for loops who are running for n times then this will be n cube. So the time taken for multiplying two matrices is order of n cube. This is the simple method. Now let us try to adopt divide and conquer strategy for solving this one. So let us first observe what we can do such that we can apply divide and conquer strategy. Now let us see how divide and conquer strategy can be applied for multiplying two matrices. In divide and conquer strategy, we say that if the problem is large, we break the problem into sub problems and solve those sub problems combine the solutions of subproblems to get the solution for main problem. Now when you say the problem is large then you should also define what is a small problem. If it is a small problem we will directly solve it. Anyway if the problem is large we will break and break and break. At one point we have to say that this is small and we have to solve it. So that's why first of all we will define a small problem. So in divide and conquer strategy which size matrix we should say is small so we will say a 2 by 2 that is 2 cross 2 matrix is small 
Multiplying 2 cross 2 matrices is small. If there are 2 cross 2, then we will directly solve them. If there are bigger than that, larger than that, if the dimensions are 4 by 4 or 8 by 8, any dimension, then we apply divide and conquer strategy. That is, we break the problem into subproblems. Let us see how to solve a small problem. Already we have here on board two matrices of order 2 by 2, 2 cross 2, and we have to get the resultant matrix after multiplying them. How we can get the terms of C matrix, all these terms? Let us prepare them. If I have to get C11, it can be obtained by multiplying A11 with B11 and A12 with B21, A12 with B21. This is the first term, this one. Then how to get this term? C12, first row, second column. A11 multiplied with B12 plus A12 multiplied with B22. We got this term. Now let us see how to get this term. That term is obtained by second row, first column. C21 is A21 into B11 plus A22 into B21. Now, how to get this term? C22 is second row, second column. A21 into B12 plus A22 into B22. That's it. Now, here, if the matrices of order 2 cross 2, 2 matrices, then we can multiply them by directly using these formulas. Now here for multiplying 2 by 2 matrix, I am not using 3 for loops here, but I am directly using the formula. So if I say the time taken by this one, how much time it is taken? So I can consider each statement is taking 1 unit of time. So total time is 4 unit of time. That is constant. If I say no, no multiplications are there, you count them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So total 8 multiplications are there. That is also constant. 8 is constant. So anyhow, these four formulas are constant. Now this is defined as a small problem. And if you want to reduce the size and say if it is one by one matrix, then they will be having just one one element and just single product will be there. That is if imagine just this one element and this one element, I will draw this A is A11. That's all. And B is B11. Then C is A11 into B11. So I can say that if the dimensions are less than or equal to two, then it's a small problem. So if it is 2 by 2, then these are the four formulas I will use. If it is 1 by 1, then I will use this formula. Direct multiplication is there. Alright. Now, what if it is greater than 2 by 2? Then I have to divide the problem into subproblems and solve them. So for that, I'll take some examples and explain you. But one important thing is, as it is 2 by 2, we assume that, we assume that the matrices are having the dimensions in powers of 2 only. Like 2 by 2 or 4 by 4, 8 by 8, 16 by 16 or 256 by 256. So the dimensions are in powers of 2. So that will be easy when we divide and divide, we may reach to the size of 2 by 2. Or if you further divide it, then you may go till up to 1 by 1. If it is not of power 2 by 2, then you can fill zeros and make it square matrix of powers of 2 by 2. Now let me show you if it is 4 by 4, how we will apply divide and conquer strategy. Now here I have 4 by 4 matrices, two 4 by 4 matrices. And I say that this problem is large. Then we have to divide the problem into sub problems and then solve those sub problems and combine the solution. How I can do that? This is 4 by 4. And if you see the dimensions, they are from 1 to 4, rows are from 1 to 4, columns are also from 1 to 4. So rows are starting from 1, ending at 4, columns are starting at 1 and ending at 4. So same way here also 1 to 4 and 1 to 4. 
Now I say that this dimensions must be divided by 2. So this matrix get splitted into 2 by 2. Now I got 4 matrices. Similarly, this matrix also if I divide by 2, then it will be splitted and we get 4 matrices. Now we got 4 matrices of size 2 by 2 and that I will consider this matrix itself as an element A11. So let us call that matrix as A11 and this matrix as A12, means second matrix, right? And this also as a matrix that is A21 and A22. I can consider them like this. Now each I should consider it as a matrix. Then here also I should say B11, B12, B21, B22. Now if I consider this matrix as a single element, then now this became what? 2 by 2 matrix. Can't I solve this 2 by 2 matrix directly? Yes. How? This A11 with B11 and A12 with B21 and add them. So yes, we follow the same formulas even for multiplying these two matrices. We treat this as a element. Now let us look at the algorithm how we can write a divide and conquer algorithm for multiplying two matrices. I will call the algorithm name as MM that is matrix multiplication which will take A and B and dimension N. Now the parameters can be anything. It is not a direct program. You cannot directly convert what I am showing now. You cannot directly convert into a program. You have to define more things for making it as a program. Now to get the idea, I am writing an algorithm. See, if that n is less than or equal to 2, mean dimensions are less than or equal to 2, then directly you find out C by using those four formulas. Right? Four formulas are there. We can use those four formulas for getting C matrix. So if it is a small, then actual multiplication will be done here. Right? Else, if it is large, then what we do? Here, we will split it and again join it. So let us see how we can split and then combine the solutions. So here we find out mid, that is n by 2 we will do. This is not a detailed code I am saying. Right? Now when you have divided the matrix by 2 every, by 2, both of them, by 2 if you have done, then you have to multiply these two matrices as if these are elements. So you have to multiply these two plus these two. So how you can do that is again call the algorithm recursively matrix multiplication. Call the matrix multiplication by passing this matrix that is A11, comma B11 and the dimension is n by 2 plus matrix multiplication of A12 with B21. A12 comma B21 and dimensions are n by 2. See, these lines, if I write them here, C11 is obtained by multiplying this element with this element. Actually, these are not elements. These are matrices plus a12 with b21 so this is matrix multiplication and again we are using a formula for getting the first element so we are treating these as elements but actually those are matrices and we are applying the same formula so for multiplying these two i am using a function matrix multiplication this is this will be getting the first term then again next term so what that next term will be c12 that is multiply this one with this one first row with second column right so a11 with b it will be mm a11 comma and the dimensions are n by 2 half that's it see here i have written the recursive code so again it is calling itself for the reduced size of matrices so i am naming them as a11 and b11 then remaining four so like this when I said these are elements, I again four formulas apply here. 
so c21 c22 all these i have to write down so here it will be a21 into here it will be matrix multiplication of a21 and the dimension is n2 then the last term is a21 into b12 plus a22 with b22 matrix multiplication of a b22 and send by 2 once again when 4 by 4 matrices are given for example then they can be divided into small problems of sizes 2 by 2 and these 2 by 2 matrices can be multiplied like this so i have written a divide and conquer algorithm here which is recursively calling itself if the dimensions are less than or equal to 2 directly use those formulas otherwise it will call itself recursively and this plus is matrix addition it is not normal integer addition it's not scalar addition it's matrix addition now let's analyze how much time this will take for execution what is the time complexity of this algorithm let us find the time complexity this is using divide and conquer strategy so this is a recursive algorithm you can see that it is calling itself how many times it is calling itself 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight times it is calling itself so let us prepare a recurrence relation for this one recurrence relation will be tn is equals to it is calling itself on the reduced problem of n by 2 it is splitting by 2 right and we are assuming that the dimension of the matrices are in powers of 2 tn by 2 t half half how many times it is calling eight times plus what is the work done for combining this addition addition i said that those are not normal scalar value additions those are matrix addition how much time it will take for adding two matrices if suppose i have to add them suppose then how much time each an element i should add corresponding elements so there are n square elements so time taken for adding is n square See, I should add this corresponding elements like this. If I talk about only adding, right, only adding, then this is n square. Time is n square. So the time for combining is n square. This is when n is greater than 2. If n is less than or equal to 2, then these just four formulas, how much time those formulas takes, we'd say it is one constant. That's it. This is the recurrence relation. Now, if I apply master theorem on this one, a value is 8, b value is 2, and the function f of n is n square. Find out log a base b, that is log of 8 base 2, it is 3. Then, what is the power of n? k. k is n power 2. So, k is 2 this is 3 this is 2 so log a base b is greater than k so then this comes under which case if i apply master's theorem this log a base b is greater so it comes under case 1 then what will be the time complexity of this one this will be theta of n cube time complexity of divide and conquer algorithm is also n cube whether you use a simple algorithm by using three for loops also it's n cube if you apply divide and conquer also it's n cube but the divide and conquer algorithm is recursive so it internally uses a stack so that will be consuming extra space so in terms of space if we see then an algorithm with just three for loops is better than divide and conquer algorithm now as this is taking more time compared to other algorithms we see mostly we have the time complexities like n square or n log n so this is n cube is there any chance is there any possibility to reduce the time of this algorithm so this is a research topic this is a research area if you can find out any faster method for multiplying two matrices then that will be better for humanity so what strassen has done let us see so now let us talk about strassen 
See, we have seen this four formulas. Already have shown you four formulas for multiplying two matrices directly. And those formulas, I have used them here in the form of functions, recursive functions. And in this, you can see that there are total eight multiplications. So what Strassen has done, the major work in matrix multiplication is multiplication only. So if we can reduce number of multiplications, then that will make the algorithm faster. So this is the approach he has taken. So instead for this eight, four formulas with eight multiplications, he has given different formulas. And instead of following those four, he has given different formulas with seven multiplications, which will reduce the time complexity of algorithm little bit, little less than n cube. So let us see what he has given. Let's look at Strassen's formula. These are the four formulas for directly multiplying two matrices for getting the third matrix that is multiplying AB to get C with eight multiplication. So these may be simple elements or these may be matrices. We have already seen divide and conquer method. Now this is having eight multiplication. So what Strassen has done is he has reduced the number of multiplication. And one more thing is this additions are also there Four additions. Addition or subtractions will take less time compared to multiplication. Strassen's formula, if you see, the number of multiplications are reduced. No doubt, additions and subtractions has increased. So here are his, here are his formulas. Let us see what he has given. He said that find out these formulas, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, and that is involving these elements, A and B elements. So if you see the multiplications, this is one multiplication, two multiplications, three multiplication, four, five, six, seven. So he has given seven sub formulas named as P to V with seven multiplications. And those formulas are utilized to get the elements that is C12, uh, C22, C112, C22. So Instead of these four formulas for getting these values, so we have these formulas. Now, what are these P, Q, R, S, T? They are given here. So that's all, no doubt, the number of formulas has increased and number of additions and subtractions has increased, but the number of multiplications has reduced. If you apply divide and conquer strategy, then the algorithm is called, will be calling itself multiple times, but total only seven times instead of eight times. So what will be the recurrence relation for this one? That will be Tn is equals to 7Tn by 2 plus n square when n is greater than 2. When n is less than or equal to 2, it will be 1. This is how the recurrence relation has changed. And this is log 7 base 2, it will be 2.81. And k is so this is greater so it will be order of n power log 7 base 2 or order of n power 2.81 that's so how strassen has reduced the time complexity it's not n cube but n power 2.81 it is little less than n cube solve with strassen's multiplication